Good evening, everybody. It is still Friday. Um, <laughs> I say that because of the fact that if I don't remind myself every so often, I'll think it's Saturday or, you know, I'm either a day ahead or I'm a day behind. In this current situation, it would have been a day ahead because I am so looking forward to going, uh, going to Ohio. Um, as you might have seen... Um, and hopefully she posts it sooner than later. Um, uh, we went to Washington, Missouri today to basically just to get out of town, um, primarily. Um, and we went to places like Target and, um, Joann's and Michael's and places that we don't have around here in Rolla. Um, I wanted to go into Five Below to just look around. Um, sometimes I find what I'm looking for. Sometimes I find stuff that I'm like, ooh, I could actually use that. Or, ooh, I haven't, I haven't had that in a long time. You know, and when you get the chance to go shopping, one of the things I do like about Five Below is, um, the factor, they have a lot of cool stuff for very inexpensive prices. I mean, Five Below, five dollars or less. Um, so we went shopping. Um, Jenny Ann did go into one or two store or one store that I didn't go into because I didn't feel like going into the Dollar Tree or any places like that because we have those here in Rolla. But anyhow, I went into Five Below and I was looking for like stuff that I could probably use either around here at the house or for our trip. Now, one of the things I got is because, and the reason why I got it is one, I don't know what happened to my other one, and two, if my aunt Sue goes, um, or <coughs> if there arises a situation where I need to charge my phone during the trip and during it, and hell yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> Jerry Ann needs to charge her phone at the same time. I, p I picked up a double car recharger, it's a double port recharger. It has, well, oh. It has two different style chargers. Okay. I might not be able to use that. Well, no. I know how I can use this. Um, my car, my minivan has three um, cigarette style ports. One in the back seat for back seat passengers and two up front for up front passengers. Now... This has a Type-C and a U uh, USB port. Um, I'm just trying to read this to see if it tells me what Type-C is. Oh, Type-C is a 3.1 rapid charger. So, basically if I use the lightning cable or thunder cable, I can't which, remember which one it is, that I got with my... You know what? Alright, I, I see what I was going to have. All right. I might have to return this one because it's not exactly what I thought it was. I should have paid better attention to it. I know I have a, what, it looks looks like a weird curved um, car charger. It's got two to three ports on it, so I might not need that. I might be able to take it back to five below, or I might just go ahead and use it for something else but anyhow um i got that and then i got this and i'm thinking it's probably going to work for my nightstand and there's two of them here so one for me one for jerry once we get we've got to fix some things in the bedroom because of the way the um we had a, we had a, we had a minor issue that i have to fix i just haven't gotten around to it um, but their, their adhesive, they have, you see in the back, there's a pull and stick adhesive pad. You can basically stick it on any smooth, flat surface. And what's good about it is, factor, as you can tell, you can pop your charging cord in there if you got multiple cords or if you want to just find a way to wrap it so it's not like all over the place, which I need something like this on my nightstand. Um... 
So that will be awesome for my nightstand and I can start corralling some of my cords because what I have right now is the square block and you're supposed to be able to wrap your cord in there. Problem with that is if you need the extra length or uh, you shake the cord for one reason or another, it unravels on its own. It's not really designed for thin iPhone car cords or anything like that. It might be great with your regular standard electrical electrical cord, but not really for the thin wired cords. This item I'm going to leave towards the end. Now, some of you might know from my vlogs or my, my um, history of who I am videos, my past videos, basically stories of my past or something like that. I can't remember what I titled them, but... While we were, while my dad was stationed in Germany, or I should say we were stationed in Germany, because it was mom, myself, dad, and yeah, just whatever pets we might have had, we had a parakeet or two. Um, I think it was just one parakeet. But anyhow, while there, I was in my, so 80, so that would have been 9, 10, and 11 years of age, I um, got hooked on... Gummy bears, the original um, German gummy bears, not the American cheap knockoffs. Um, not saying that I have anything against the Americanized um, gummy bears, but you cannot beat getting the gummy bears. And make sure when you get these, you read the back and it says made in Germany. Um, if you're not getting those, um, you're not getting made in German. Um, gummy bears, but one of the other things, ooh, this one might not, I did not watch what I was grabbing, I thought I was grabbing two of the, I thought I was grabbing two of these, which is like the Happy Cola, um, gummy bears, which tastes like Coca-Cola, it literally takes when you bite into it, it tastes like Coca-Cola, I did not realize I grabbed a bag of Fizzy Cola, which is basically a sour and tangy taste to it. But it's just like the regular Happy Cola, but it's got this like sugary looking um, exterior. I guess that that's what makes it the fizzy style. I'll give them a try. But I had a craving. I get these cravings every so often where I want gummy bears. And I saw the gummy bears and it's like, ooh. Um... So, I got those, and I'm going to read you the price, because, yeah, each bag of gummy bears was a buck twenty-five. They were originally a buck fifty, so it was five bags of gummy bears for five dollars. So, basically, each bag had a discount of twenty-five cents, they were originally a dollar twenty-five. Five bags of gummy bears for five bucks? You can't beat that with a stick! I'm sorry, I had to get them. And the last thing I got, and the reason why I got this is twofold. One, she has um, issues with temporarily misplacing her um, iPod earbuds. And that, in fact, her, every so often she complains that if she falls asleep with them in her ear because they're solid, they're hard plastic, um, they hurt. So I saw this hanging up near the register, and I went, "Ooh, she's got the she's got the iPod Pros, so why not get her an iPod Pro skins?" Now I'm gonna flip this over so you can see the actual pieces, but it's great. She doesn't really need the case because she's got that um um yeah, can't remember the name of the character. But from Big Hero 6, the robot, I can't remember the name off the top of my head right now. I'm sorry. But it comes with a cord, which basically these pieces right here, you slip the AirPod in through the cuff. And it's got this string that basically you can put it in front of your neck or behind your neck, whatever. Um, that way, you basically, it's hard to misplace both of them. Um, and then it's got the little rubber... Um, 
cover for the actual piece that's supposed to go into your ear. And I figured that'd be a nice gift for Jerry Ann, not just for the travel, but for everyday general usage. And then, of course, it comes with like a little clip that clips onto the actual case. But I was thinking, if she doesn't use the case because she's um, happy with Betamax. Ah, Betamax. Boom, Betamax. There we go. There's the name of that. But um, I just had the receipt. I'm just going to quickly read the um, actual prices. The... Four slot things, these guys, were only three bucks. The car charger, five dollars. Um, five bags of um, gummy bears, five bucks. The Air, Air, Airbud Pro case kit, four bucks. It came to after taxes, 18, not even 20 bucks, 1848. I mean, come on. That's like, that's like stealing from the store for crying out loud. I mean, you go to Walmart or some other place like that. These right here are going to be like 10 bucks. Each bag of, each, each bag of candy is going to be like two and change. This right here is going to be 20 bucks. This right here is going to be 10 bucks. I mean, I might be exaggerating ever so slightly on some of the prices, but... I couldn't walk out of a Walmart with this stuff for less than 30. Actually, probably less than 50. I mean, I'm talking about 20, 30, 40, probably $15 worth of, of gummy bears. So that's like 55, 60 bucks. You, I mean, if you have a... A five below near you and you've gone to it and you've walked out of the store with what we got here? Eight items for under twenty bucks. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't have a five below near you because maybe the UK doesn't have five below or Canada doesn't have five below or or Mexico doesn't have five below or wherever you might be if you're in a different country than the than than the US. You might not have five blows. You know, you might have similar bargain stores, but five below. I mean, I remember one time we went to five below and we walked out of there with three, at least three, four bags worth of merchandise for under, for almost 50 bucks. And each bag must have had like, eight, six to eight items, depending on how big they were. I mean, we've gone there and gotten t-shirts, socks, electronic devices, or you know, not really electronic devices, but cases for our electronic devices for under 50 bucks. And I was like, what? Wait a minute, we bought how many bags and how much does each bag have? And it was for 50 bucks or less? That's nuts. But that's five below. Anyhow, um, I'm going to sneak out. Well, not really sneak out there, but I'm going to go out there and give this a try. See how much she likes it. Um, if you like this uh, haul, this little mini video, um, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them in the comment box. If you're new to my channel and you want to see more of my videos, and not all my videos, I mean, I have a variety of content in my videos, so they're not all shop with me's or anything like that, but go ahead and um, give that bell a tap. Oh, before I actually sign off, sign off. I now have my brats, so tomorrow will be brat burst night, and I will record that. Anyhow, um, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Yeah, you know, um, uh, hopefully you guys have a good night, um, good the rest of the day, good weekend. Um, try to be safe. It it was kind of like weird going to, um, 
Washington because, I mean, close to the city, you'd think more people would be wearing masks. Not so much. But anyhow, God bless. Good night. Until next time. Bye.